Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Some of you might recognize my 1996 Mustang Cobra. We've done a couple of videos in this car over the years, and a couple years back we featured it in a staff Stang. If you're not familiar with the car, this car used to belong to my friend Andrew Bauer, who's better known by his nickname Crimpit, and the car became known as the Crimp Stang. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, me and Crimp and a bunch of others were real competitive with our four-valve Cobras, getting these cars down in the low 12 second range with basic bolt-on modifications. Somewhere around the summer of 2002, Crimp and I started talking about the NMRA factory stock class. Looking at this class and looking at the modifications our cars had, we knew we could actually be very competitive with a few small modifications. So late in the summer of 2002, we hatched a plan to build our cars and run factory stock in 2003. Unfortunately, that never happened as Crimpit was killed in a car accident in September of 2002. At that point, I really had no interest in racing myself and really never competitively raced my car after that. A couple years later, his parents reached out to me and asked me if I would like to have Crimpit's car. Obviously, I knew the car very well and they wanted to see the car being driven and being used as it was supposed to be used, so I took them up on their offer. I picked up the car and I kind of left it the way it was when I got it for a lot of years. I felt it was his car. I didn't really want to change it, so basically I drove it to work and then raced it once a year in an annual memorial race we held at Cecil County Dragway. This last year though, I started getting the itch to make this car a little bit faster. I mean, the car's been running the same low 12 second passes for like the last 13 to 14 years. I realized it was time to do something with this car, make it faster, make it more competitive with some of our friends' cars. And I kind of started thinking I could kill two birds with one stone, make the car faster and also build it for NMRA factory stock. So this is our new project crimp stang. We're going to take Crimpit's car and turn it into an NMRA factory stock race car. Back in 2002, when Crimp and I were discussing running the factory stock class, our cars were running in the low 12 second range, 12 0s to 12 1s to be exact. At that time, a competitive factory stock car was only in the high 11s, so we were right there and could have jumped in the class and had some fun. Well, since then, the last 14 years, the class has obviously gotten a lot faster. Right now, a high 11 second pass won't even make the field. While I could have taken the original 464 valve and had it built up to build a competitive engine, in my opinion, there's a much easier solution. That would be a Ford Racing Coyote Crate engine. I've always liked the idea of a Coyote swap because as several racers have already proven in the factory stock class, a bone stock Coyote engine with a good suspension can be very competitive. This is a 2015 Ford Racing Coyote Crate engine. The only modifications I've made to this so far are a JLT oil separator and a custom set of quill covers my friends down at Power by the Hour. We'll be installing a set of one and three quarter headers, which is the class legal header on these, but besides that, the engine will be left 100% stock. Now, I've already done a little bit of work in getting the car ready for factory stock and for the engine swap itself. Obviously, the original engine, drivetrain, all that stuff is long gone. The base weight for a Coyote stick shift combination for factory stock is 3,250 pounds. So the goal is to get the car light. The car itself can weigh a little over 3,000 pounds, but I want it even lighter than that so we can put the weight where we want to. Started off by installing a Flaming River manual rack and pinion and also a set of manual brakes. I also went with a full UPR tubular K member to get more weight off the front end and a set of lightweight Corbo FX1 seats. Our goal with Crimpit's car is to have it ready for the NMRA finals this year in Bowling Green, which is only a couple months away. Now the goal there is to get the car there, have some fun, get our feet wet and get used to the class. And then for 2017, we will run the entire series and hopefully be a lot more competitive. For our next video, we're going to drop the engine in, do a little more work. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss future updates on Project Crimpstang.